right, I'm walking down the halls here at the Munich show, and I'm in the area that's kind of Photographer's Alley. And right there, we've got Jeff Scoville set up. And right here, we have Mark Mothner. Hey, Mark, how you doing, buddy? Right there, we got Laszlo Coopy. And there's Laszlo. And I always love showcasing maybe not always new talent, but kind of fresh talent. So we're going to meet with a young mineral collector who is doing some fantastic photography work. So stick with us. Let's go right now. The photographer, of course, Matthew Parshikov. Matthew, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Brian. What's up? Good to see you. So happy to be here. Well, now, Matthew, you are uh, you're a young mineral collector. You're part of the Young Mineral yes. Collector group on Facebook. And I just learned last night that you are 18, right? Yeah. And you are here in what I'm calling a Photographer's Alley. Mm -hmm. And you've got some incredible stuff that you've been working on. So let's talk about, first of all, these two photos that you have here. Oh, yeah. And then let's talk about some of the publications that your work has been featured in lately. And uh, hopefully some of our viewers will get to know you a little bit better. And who knows, maybe uh, sure. you're going to be one of the next great photographers here. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, these prints, um, these are prints and they are available too. Uh, this is a special a special team from Brazil. It's in a collection of my friend and uh, it won a photo contest in Russia. Okay. Uh, and it's also printed on my merch and it's also in the um, theme book of the Munich show. Okay. As well as this one. This is also in the theme book of the Munich show. And this is in the collection of Ksenia Lefterova. And, oh, that's uh, her piece, okay. Yeah, that's her piece, yeah, yeah, but my photo. But your so, photo. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the photography. Uh, I can't say back when you were a kid, when <laughs> did you first pick up a camera? Because to me, you still are a kid, but yeah. that's the beauty of it. When did you start uh, doing photography? Uh, I started doing mineral photography. I, well, I started doing photography with mineral photography uh, about two years ago. Okay. And uh, yeah, this was a, a long way of asking people techniques and then trial and error and uh yeah then i finally got a booth this okay. year yeah which is um, i'm really thankful for the, the munich show that i had this absolutely nice booth where i could go uh, do some photography on site because last year i couldn't do that right, uh, right yeah and this is great but now your work i mean we've seen two examples here it's very very nice work uh but you also have been published a lot I mean, surprisingly, wow. a lot to me, you know, okay. for someone who's still pretty brand new. And we're going to talk about, you know, another one of the projects that you're doing uh, after this. But mm -hmm. let's look at some of these publications sure. that, uh, yeah. that you've been published in. So first uh, is the <clears throat> Rocks and Minerals mag. Right. Okay, so I, let's, um, let's look at the cover. Uh, this year in Tucson, I won the um, macro photography contest category of macro photography yeah okay um and, and this is the july august 2024 yeah. issue so this is the photo it's a um, lovely lovely calcite with uh clinochlor from um uh from korsunovsky deposit in russia okay and it's also here uh, you can see it on my on my info thing so basically this is my signature signature photo my favorite specimen in my collection um, because I collect post-Soviet minerals, so from okay. Russia, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, and all that. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this is a really cool one. So that's fantastic. Congratulations on the win and on the publication Thank there. Thank you very much. Um, then we have... Um, Wait, show us the cover first? Oh, yeah, exactly. This is the Extra Lapis. Okay. About uh, Chinese fluoride by Berthold Ottens. Extra Lapis is very, very uh, well-established mineral magazine here in Germany. Yeah. So this is my photo and my piece. It's a fluoride on uh, quartz from Huanggang. Super. It was uh, in the collection of Fabian Wildfang. And uh, I, well, he sold it to me and I uh, photographed it. Yeah. Fantastic. And everybody knows Fabian is, probably has the best mineral collection in, in Europe. In Europe. Absolutely. Fine mineral collection. I can, yeah. So this is a now new... Now this is exciting because yeah. this is a new magazine. Exactly. I'm going to do some, some interviews also about this. Okay. So my friend Max, uh, he does this magazine. It's online and also offline and well, in the, in the print. printed. Uh, so the cover photo is by Mark Maltner and the back cover is a beautiful oakenite in calcite and this is my photo. That's fantastic. And this you also got back the, cover, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. To I've, promote I've, the magazine, which exactly. is in German and English, I yes, understand. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was a very big surprise for me because I didn't know that this is going to be 
uh, in the in the back cover. Fantastic. And uh, this piece is also in the special exhibition on the Munich. Okay. Show. The yeah. uh, the impossible crystals. Mm -hmm. And speaking, speaking of, of which, with the crystal, <laughs> uh, this is a fabulous book yeah. written by um, Vadim Levtsov, and uh, here you can see some photos. Uh, in particular, this one, okay. which is this right. one. That here. was the one that, that was on the door. Exactly. Uh, I can't really <laughs> let me find some more. Uh, there are. And this is nice because the viewers can actually see how nice this uh, catalog is. Exactly. Let me let me quickly find. Oh, here's a photo. This is a photo of um, fluoride from uh, Gersdorf, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's in the collection of the Mineral Museum in Bonn. Okay. And Bonn is the city where I study geosciences in Fantastic. university. So you have a personal attachment exactly. to that. Yes, and um, one of my favorites here in, in my collection is also this axonite. You can see the player prism here. Super. Yeah. Super. So it's a, a very big honor to uh, see my face uh, next to next to all of these other great photographers, and this is me. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and also the, um, the, the Okanite thing was also published in here. With uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah with the things that look like other things. That's fantastic. That is absolutely super. You had mentioned this real quickly uh, when you were talking about the other mm -hmm. mineral magazine that you're about to do an interview with them. Exactly. Now, yeah. you also, you started this last year and you and I talked and, mm -hmm. you know, I was giving you kind of some pointers, but you've started a new series that is similar to what, uh, like a What's Hot in Tucson yeah, kind of thing or a Live from yeah, the yeah. Munich show kind absolutely of thing was. Absolutely stolen idea. <laughs> Tell me about well, tell the viewers what the name of it is, yeah. how they can watch it, and what they can do to help you mm -hmm. uh, take this a little bit further. Yes. Yeah. So the name is called uh, Under the Radar. The, the series is called Under the Radar. And there's Under the Radar Live from Munich. Uh, there was an attempt of Under the Radar Live from Tucson, but my colleagues in the YMC, they kind of uh, didn't do a lot of interviews. So it's just from, in Munich for now. But there's a recorded series, like a one hour or less or plus, um, video interview series on YouTube, on the YMC YouTube, okay. there are no collectors, uh, where I interview people that I think, uh, well, you interview people, but you interview the, the well-known people. Yeah. And also even, okay, I'm not that well-known, but uh, not still. Not yet, yeah. <laughs> but this might help. <laughs> you can't interview everyone. Exactly. So I thought I could like help you out or just in general, uh, start also documenting and, and, and showing people other people. Uh, so yeah, this is a focus on collectors, dealers, and the photographers and, and artists. So people who I think deserve to be shown or uh, should get a spotlight. Yeah, that's fantastic. So all you viewers out there, make sure you tune in on that, watch that, as well as continue watching the Blue Cap series. And Matthew, thank you. Thank we you will so much. See you many, many times in the future. Thank you. All right. Cheers.